Feels like a tuna. What it feels like. Bleeding like a tuna. What is it? Bad fight though. What is it? What are you, mate? Can I see you? Come up and show me what you are. Yeah. Big Mac tuna. Okay, I was hoping you might be a spotty mackerel, mate. <laughs> no, I'll let you go. Come up, I'll let you go. Have a beautiful day. So the aim, the aim with uh, busting up fish is to get upwind because the birds are flying into the wind, so you sort of know which way the wind's blowing. The fish tend to feed into the wind because um, that's you know against the current as well slows the bait fish down so getting up 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 sort of upwind of them try to cut them off not not making too much noise so they're, they're moving away a little bit so I try to get you know a reasonable distance away I've got an eight foot casting rod so this really helps there we go. I can do like a 70, 80 meter cast. And uh, then I'll turn the engine off. You can wind like crazy. I think they're gone again. Yeah, I missed it this time. Might have to get a little bit closer. Whoops. Let's try a bit a closer. How's that for a visual? <laughs> I think they're still, I think they're still tuna. Yep, they're definitely tuna. I'll just be a little bit more severe. Tuna. This is going to be easy to get out. Whew, good size max. Come on. I'll oh, get you go, mate. There we go. <laughs> Zoom. He's off. Okay, this is fun. Another one right 
there. Look at that. <laughs> How's that? Whoa. Oh, this one's got a bit of power. Oh, look at that reel. A little more drag on you, mate. Whoa. I want to get one out of line here. Happened there. I lost him. I might have lost my lure too. Maybe that's a mackerel. Hey, that is a good thing. If that is a mackerel, sure reason I came to this spot is uh, the reef, and there's you know rumors of some Spanish mackerel here earlier in the week. Some spear fishermen were getting them. I'm looking at the sounder now. There's some big fish under me actually, so I'm going to throw out my livey and also a dead bait again, like I did out at the other reef. And hopefully um, we might hook up this time, but I'll put the, uh, put the uh, live bait out again. I've got one live bait left. Nice big uh, slimy mackerel. So let's see how we go. So. Mac tuna takes him, I'll be a bit upset. Because <laughs> it's dirty what I got. How are you? I hope he's okay. Oh, he's not looking. Oh, he's still alive. He's just having a sleep. <laughs> Gotta hold on to these things hard. This is a solid, it's a solid one. Look at the size of him. So I'm gonna pin him through the nose. Where is his nose? There it is there. Nose. Come on, get through this. There we go. And then hold on tight so that it doesn't spike me. Um, anal fin. I go on the top fin because I want him to swim down a little bit. So I'm going through the top. You can see it there. Poor little thing. I don't like doing this to the fish, but it's part of the sport, I guess. Make sure it's through. Get him in the water before he. Runs out of air. Oh, he's live. Look at him go. He's live. And down he goes. So, hopefully, there's some spare stray uh, big fish hanging around that might like a nice big meal like that big slimy mackerel. Let him feed out. Let him swim down. Might give me opportunity to put some more sunscreen on. It's, the sun is cooking me already. What is this time? It's about 9 a.m. now. So, uh, Oh, it's a bit, bit more fun though. Uh, I wish I was catching something to take home to eat, but um, yeah, the, the, uh, the back tuna is a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of fun um, catching them. That last one that broke me off, um, it was a big one. It was probably in the, uh, I don't know, half a meter long type. I've been catching them about, oh, hang on, he's getting a bit excited. The slimy's having a little, he's getting a bit excited. Hopefully there's something chasing him. Oh, it's gone flat. It's gone flat again. And oh, no, he's still there. He's still there. Cool. Okay. Let's put him out. Let's put, put him out and just troll him along slowly, and hopefully we'll come across something a bit decent. Put the put the clicker on. In case it goes, we'll hear it. And also lock him in in case something big hits him. All right. There we go. That should. Hold the big fish, a little bit more drag. We want it to hook, not if something has a swipe at it, we want it to hook. Meantime, I'll keep my casting rod ready. Um, and let's put out a dead bait on this side. I've got the other the other slimy mackerel from this morning that I was trolling around died, unfortunately. I think I've broken him on the he's dead, but I'll put him on a, a rig and see if we can catch something with him, not waste him. There. Use a rubber band to hold that on. So, fingers crossed, eh? Nothing's taken the live yet. 
shame. There we go. I'll see if this is successful. That should swim pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Water's good colour here. It's a little bit murky, which is great because it's, it's clean, but it's got a bit of green in it, which is what we want. She's not swimming super well, but hey, it's okay. It'll do. Okay, let's give it a go. Turn on, start your engines. What is this thing? You can see the leader. Oh, not around there, please. I got my light. Spaniard. Look at my line. It's a big Spaniard.
this line. I think I need to cut this line. Right, this is... Deep. Look at the line. Steam. Yes, Steam. <laughs> but have a rest man okay so this is a um decent decent spanish you can see there's my measurement it's gone about 1.2 1.3 uh, it's almost 1.5 meters long this one very similar to the last one i caught uh, very good, very good. A bit of carnage on the uh, rigging gear. <laughs> so, there was the hooks. <laughs> That's what's left of my other rig. <laughs> Jeez. All right, in the bag. Guys. Yes. <laughs> I am slimed. Terribly slimed. Wow, well, there you go. After the perseverance, I was almost going to give up, you know, the water is beautiful and warm and clear and there's not much wind and I thought, oh, this isn't really great conditions, but, you know, the, I heard the greeny coloured water is what the Spanish like and uh, the water definitely is that green colour, it's sort of clear, clear with a bit of um, some sort of, I don't know, some sort, some sort of uh, plankton or whatever sediment <laughs> through it and it's made of a green. And uh, anyway, perseverance paid off. Notice there's no other boats here. They're all taken off. And um, I think that's what made it so quiet for me. They're all very north of the reef too. I was sort of sitting right on the reef when I got that bite. Um, and I got that strike. And uh, everybody sort of headed north. And I, I was sort of, this is the first time I've been here. So I was starting to go that way till I looked at the uh, my GPS point for the reef. And I went, oh, I'll go back there. And uh, you know, I think it's luck, more luck than anything for me, I tell you what. Recently I've had a lot of bad luck, so but that worked out very nicely. So um, no spotty mackerel, but I got the prize, the Spano Spanish mackerel. Time to head home I think. Well I tell you what, that's lifted my mood a bit 
after um, probably three or four weeks of practically nothing except rubbish fish. So very happy, going to head home now. Okay, I'm going to go a bit close to shore because it looks very nice over here. 